Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's look at getting photos from your digital camera without using iPhoto. So most people just use iPhoto to get the photos off their camera and into their iPhoto library. But suppose you don't want to do that. For instance, sometimes I take pictures of things that I don't necessarily want to go into my iPhoto library, like maybe product shots and things for this podcast. So I just want these to go into a folder on my hard drive. And there are a few ways to do this. So one way is to use the Finder. If you insert the SD card into a reader or the side of your Mac, you should see the contents of the camera appear under devices in the Finder just like a USB flash drive might. Select it and you can see its contents. Now note this only works in the Finder if you insert the SD card into a reader or the SD slot on your Mac. It won't usually work if you plug the camera in via USB. Probably depends on the camera though. Now in many cases you're going to see a folder called a DCIM. You may see other folders here as well. It's important to look through them all and be familiar with what's there. You may actually have a folder with your actual pictures and another folder with thumbnails so make sure you get the right one. If you click on that you might see some subfolders depending upon how you have your camera set up and then you dig down further and you'll see the files that are the actual photos themselves. Now from here you can just drag those photos from the SD card and drag them to the Finder to have copies of them put on your hard drive. You can also select and delete or put them in the trash. Now note that since the SD card is not formatted for Mac particularly, it's a universal format, if you try to get info on these files you won't get much. It won't show very much under more info here. You won't see the dimensions here. But if you look at the copy that I've made to my hard drive which now is in a Mac hard drive format. If I get info on it I'll see all sorts of data about the photo. All the data that's stored inside like the dimensions, type of camera that was used, exposure time, all sorts of things. Now instead of using the Finder you can use a program that comes with your Mac called Image Capture. It's in your Applications folder and it will recognize any image related device in the left here. Matter of fact if I look under Shared I can see that it sees the scanner that's connected to my network as well. And it will recognize the SD card. I can select it and it will show me the images stored on the card. I don't have to fool around with the folders and file structure. Now what's cool about image capture is you can first of all get a lot of data about these images. So I can switch to list view here and I can scroll through and see all the camera data for each photo. I can also decide to import these photos and select which folder to use. I can select a default folder like pictures or desktop or I can select a custom one. I can also, you can't see it here, but select an application uh, to import into. So I can actually import them into iPhoto or import them into Preview or even Mail. And I can select some photos like say these four here and just import those or I can import all of the ones in the set. One great thing you can do with image capture that you can't do in iPhoto is you can delete photos so I can kind of manage what's on there. So I can look at what's on the SD card and say I want to get rid of one of these photos. I can hit this delete button down here and it will delete it from the SD card without having to import it first. And you could also drag and drop from image capture. So I can take this photo and drag it to the finder and it will place it there. There it is. I can also drag into other applications like say Photoshop as well. Now if I want to use image capture as my default way of importing photos I can set that down here with the camera or the SD card selected. I can set it to launch image capture, iPhoto or no application down here when the camera is connected. Um, and I can also share the camera using image capture. With image capture running and the SD card or camera connected I click on share camera and actually use image capture on another Mac to import the photos if I wanted to. Now look what happens if I were to select iPhoto as my import destination. Select two photos here and say import them. There they go. Last import is now those photos. So I can actually use image capture as a bridge between my SD card and iPhoto rather than just using iPhoto's import function. So check out Image Capture. It's a really useful tool if you take pictures with the camera, especially if you don't always want them to go into your iPhoto library. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.